There's a phenomenal opportunity to embrace the entrepreneur in this country. You never stop thinking because it's your passion, it's your hobby. But the best decision I ever made was setting up my own company and going for it. It's an absolute great honour to be here today. It's great to come to conferences like this where people can actually network educate, learn and inform each other. This to me, you know, entrepreneurial spirit. You mean you have to live and breathe what you're doing every moment of the day. We need to start making stuff. Let's just get on and make great stuff. Trust, attention, time. The most and precious commodities that exist today. Entrepreneurs and small companies create the energy of the economy. That's what they do. We have got a wealth of phenomenal talent here in the Northwest. We think the Northwest is a very enterprising and innovative region. One of the biggest things we can do is really make a difference to grassroots businesses. What would be your tip for growing your business organically? It's all about the people. It's all about motivating people, energising people. Make decisions, make mistakes. Try a new way of selling, try a new way of developing. We haven't even started yet providing solutions, we feel, to companies in the UK. If you lift your head up and smell the roses, you can actually see some of the opportunities that are around you. Put yourself in your industry's spotlight or in your marketplace's spotlight by being somebody who's provocative. Entrepreneurship, I say it's definitely a team game. Entrepreneurs are, are born. The role of the entrepreneur and the small business is crucial. Now the first lesson I really learnt was to go into an area that you feel really passionate about. If you do whatever it takes, or however long it takes, the success is simply a matter of time. I'm going to take on a whistle-stop tour of why I think it's so important to be entrepreneurial. There's no doubt at all that it is a great time to be a media entrepreneur. Can I just say, let's be interactive. What advice would you give to companies to think about content strategy? How do you protect yourself in terms of getting the first market? How do you keep on top of these fantastic new ideas and keep ahead of the game?